Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to present to you the release notes of Boeing MIT's Bayes Manufacturing 2021.11. We're going to start out with the highlights and then outline the new features and improvements of the fresh release. Stay with me and get familiar with all that the new release has to offer. These are the most important areas improved or added in this version. We have several improvements in the production area. A new database check tool for Bayes WMS integration a new internal web browser, b one op related improvements, a new field in Data Integration Hub, and many more. Let's see in details. A new option has been added to the Workover Stop web app to report time as an intermediate time receipt. With this option, the system will do a work order stop as a partial time receipt and will initiate the work order start again in the same way as a desktop does using the back flushing function. Please note that to use this new option, you must uncheck the parameter Intermediate Report Deactivate in the Configuration Wizard. The Journal of Entries displays the entries split by batches or serials, but in these cases the quantities of the receipt issue columns were still the total quantity per document line. This happened at lines with several batches or serials, or even the same but with different prices. Bayes now has two new columns to display the receipt issue per line containing the real quantity for the bad serial inside the document line. You can make visible or hide these columns using the Windows Settings right-click option. Directory for images parameter in the Print and Report Setup section of the Configuration Wizard could cause performance issues. The folder was in a non-existing or very slow network. Here, Bayes attempted to read images from the network for every line with the name Network Folder without image name. Now, after the improvement, Bayes attempts to load an image only if an image was defined. We change the behavior of Goose Receipt window based on the selection and the type field. Now, if the receipt is of production type, the pricing field goes invisible. The field must be empty when the type is production because the price is calculated from the setting, valuation and booking of assemblies and not from the price list. The web app inventory counting list supports two different barcodes. In the Lines tab, the filter field can be used to select items by item code, using the barcode field in the item master data. GS1128 barcode is now supported. The linked barcode is defined in the item master data. In the past, PS didn't check the barcode link from the item master data. Now, PS supports the barcode. In the Line tab, the item number field can be filled once by scanning the item code and the batch or serial, and the quantity will be taken from the GS1 code. Please watch the following demonstration video. The opening and closing remarks in purchase orders now supports RTF mode in 64-bit environments. Before, this was only possible in the 32-bit version. To access the editor, double-click on the Details window that opens. Then right-click and select RTF. The previous internal web browser that was based on the old Internet Explorer from Microsoft is now replaced by a new one that is based on the Chromium engine. Therefore, it displays content in the same way as in Google Chrome. The advantages using the new web browser are No more alerts that the unsaved Internet Explorer used to return. Links to videos, for example, are not opened in a new external instance but inside. Displaying PDFs does not need an extra app, but can be shown inside the browser directly. Many other file formats can be opened directly in the browser, for example audio, video and files and many more. We use the new browser, for example, for displaying the internal help. In pre-calculation, inserting a new tool was not correctly performed, as the tool was not always placed under the selected operation. With this version, the issue has been solved. Additionally, the drag and drop operation over a bomb has been improved in the following way. If you drag a bomb and drop it on the line outside the item structure, the bomb is inserted at the end of the blast bomb in the structure. In validation, you can call a universal function. In the universal function, you can activate the block even flag. In the past, this flag was ignored if it was called over a validation. Now the flag checks the block event and blocks the complete event if called. Two new comments are available now in B1UP Usability Extension, Open Form and Bayes Function. The Open Form comment makes it possible to open a Bayes form. With the help of B1UP, you can place, for example, a production function as a separate menu point in SAP. 
The BAS function command allows to execute a predefined BAS function over a B1OP in a simple way. For example, you can place a print work order button in a sales order. Please note that you can access the new open form and BAS function commands with B1OP 2021.11 and that it also requires BAS 2021.11. In the Data Integration Hub, we have added possibility to import resource allocation in routing positions. Now it is possible to create catalog numbers with BAS script. New properties are supported. The BAS WMS Integrations Database Check tool provides important information on how the BAS WMS integration will operate within an existing database. It follows each of the sections in the BAS WMS integration document. If a section of the document indicates that an integration handles certain functionality, then the tool does not evaluate that function. Conversely, if the document says that the integration does not support a function, the tool evaluates the database looking for that condition. The tool is designed to be used by Boeing partners who want to evaluate an existing customer database to analyze how the Bayes WMS integration would work for a customer. To see prerequisites for use and how the tool works, please read the following article. The team has carried out a large-scale English language review of the configuration wizard. We have fixed translation mistakes and rewritten or clarified parameter names, parameter descriptions, warning messages, and tooltip sentences. This concludes our video on the new features, existing feature and system improvements and fixes of Boeing Bayes Manufacturing 2021.11. We encourage you to upgrade to this latest version of our solution and keep in touch concerning any questions you might have. Please visit our community on the link below and stay tuned for our upcoming videos.